Hello everyone's everyone's I'm Lady T506 welcome to my channel before I get into this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up hit subscribe it's free all day every day make sure notifications are on now y'all I've been trying to do this up uh, my natural hair journey for the longest time but every time it's time for me to do it something happens so I just want to tell I haven't done the video about my hair since 2010 and since then I've cut my hair twice but my hair journey technically started in 2012 from 2001 to 2012 from like Jan like february march 2001 to august or september 2012 i was just no no relaxers just getting my hair flat ironed and i was doing that i think monthly and then from like 2010 to 2012 i was doing too much for my hair. Now when I tell you too much, I would start off with a pre-poo. That was conditioner and oils of my choice. Put on my plastic cap, get up under the hood and dryer for an hour, rinse it out, wash my hair, put more conditioner on, plastic cap, under the hood and dryer for an hour, rinse that out, roller set my hair, told you it was a lot, get up under the hood and dryer till it was almost all the way dry, then my mom would flat iron my hair. I would do this, I think, I think at that time I was doing it twice a month. Yeah, that was some hours and being on the hooded dryer was torture. So I've been looking at YouTube videos and I'm like, ooh, I would like to have my hair, you know, twist outs and braid outs and such like that. I can't do that with my hair straight like this and I wasn't taking care of my hair and I had heat damage. So... I decided to cut my hair now I went from having bra strength like mid back hair mid back hair to getting my hair cut to here and it was a shock the first time I washed my hair because I'm used to you know in the shower washing it then you cut finger combing and I was used to this so I was getting this so it was a big shock but the only thing was once I cut my hair my hair didn't curl up like I wanted it to. Like all the products that I used on my hair that was a curling product made my hair straight. I didn't know how to, I, I still don't know how to cornrow. At the time I didn't know how to flat twist. So I was basically, I didn't cut my hair and I can't do anything with it. So after watching countless videos, I finally learned how to flat twist. I was able to do certain styles with my hair. I also decided once I cut my hair that I was no longer going to use heat on my hair. So after I wash it, I would just put it in several twists or several braids, put a scarf on it, and let it air dry overnight. Now we're going to fast forward to December of 2015. And I decided I want to cut my hair again. So I was thinking I don't know what I want to do. And my mom suggested a bob. So I was like, okay, I don't know. So when I get to the hairdresser, she was like, would you like, you know, after she can cut it down. And <laughs> it felt like all my hair was just coming out when she was cutting it. She was like, what would you like to do, a bob? I was like, okay, sure, bob, that sounds cute. Not thinking about how am I going to be able to style my hair than other than having a bob. So when I tell you there was nothing in the back there was nothing i could not remember the last time that there was nothing back there because i've always had a good length of hair relaxer or not it may have been damaged but it was a good length of hair so the first time i washed it it was like there is nothing back here like not enough not even to twist back here so now it's like i wasn't thinking that okay if i'm lazy i can just put my hair in a ponytail i can't do that because all of it won't go into a ponytail so i'm like okay i'm gonna just have to rock out some twist outs and a cute little style so i was doing that for a while then i say about april may ish of 2016 my hair had grew, grew back enough to where i can flat twist it but here's the thing when my hair grew back it grew back baby soft and very straight making it almost impossible for me myself 
to do flat twist styles which is that is a big thing for me i used to love doing my flat twist style keep it up for a week so i ain't got to fool with my hair because i am very lazy when it comes to my hair that's why you tend to see me with two flat twists all the time so i was like okay now i can't do my hair in a flat twist so now i have three different textures in my hair on my left side it is basically a loose wave on the right it is like a not too tight wave but still a wave in the back it is just straight so it's kind of hard to do my hair the way i want to do my hair because of my hair texture now i know some people who are better doing their hair they can probably work their way around it because but me i can't i can't tell you how many times that i have watched a youtube video or seen a picture and screenshotted like okay the hairstyle looks cute let me try it and then when i try it it looks like first one thing then another yes that has happened to me so many times but then when i'm trying to do a style i can't get it right but if i'm like just tired and fed up with my hair the hairstyle turns out cute i can't tell you how many times i got halfway done with a style and was so ready to just stop and just i'm a rock a ponytail because I can tell it's not going to turn out the way I want it to. Because me, since I wear glasses, and if I want to get everything in the back right, I have to have my glasses on, I have to have a mirror in the front, and a mirror in the back, and sometimes it just don't work. And I, my hair is oily. It tends to, like, absorb more oil. So now I'm just like, I'm not going to use any products, like any, like, twisting products. Or anything that's like curling products that's going to make my hair greasy. Because now I'm trying to you know, incorporate vitamin E oil. And doing like massage treatments at least once a month. But I made this mistake of doing that after I had used some curling product on my hair. Which I know that's a big no-no. And my hair felt really greasy. And my favorite product right now is the... Not as, as I am. It's the... Um, what's it... Shea Moisture's, the coconut and hibiscus. I have just about every product from them. The shea, I have the shampoo, I have the conditioner, I have the pre-poo, I have the curl enhancing smoothie, I have the curling gel souffle, I have the hair spritz. Yeah, I tell you, I have it all. But now I'm trying to do better with my hair, so I'm just going to be using water to spray my hair every few days and the hair milk i love 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 the hair milk but like like i said since my hair texture is off i don't really mean much like my roots be straight when i tell you straight i'm not trying to be like oh my hair is the best hair because i know my what is good hair anyways but my hair tends to be straighter at the roots I, I don't know if this is what my natural hair was before i got relaxed with it before i started straightening it but i thought once I stopped, you know, flat ironing my hair and just letting it do its thing, that I was going to have a more curly hair. But I guess I didn't know my hair type. I know I kind of sound like I'm rambling. But I wanted to get on here and just, you know, tell my natural hair journey. I went from getting relaxers up until I was about 16. I got my hair highlighted and then I got it highlighted again and come to find out I was allergic to dye and then I was like okay my mom's like okay we're just gonna cut a little bit off it wasn't enough to consider it to be a haircut because my hair had already grown out by then and you're not gonna get no more relaxers which I was happy about because I hated getting relaxed because it seemed like the relaxer burnt faster on me it seemed like as soon as you put it on I'm like uh-uh you gotta take it off so I went to this beauty school to figure out, okay, what can I do to get my hair straightened without using relaxers? Reminding you at this time, I knew nothing about hair. I still know nothing about hair, but I wanted to know some options, and they suggested flat ironing it. At the time, I was going maybe once a month to get my hair flat ironed. I know, like, you was only washing your hair once a month? Yes, I was going to the beauty school once a month, paying $11 for them to wash my hair, blow dry my hair, and flat iron it. Reminds you knew nothing about hair and then after a while I just buy my own flat iron so I could just do my hair at home But now I'm trying to be more thoughtful in my hair even though I hate washing my hair I know I just gotta sit there and just go ahead and do it
So that was my hair journey. Like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.